All right, you guys, good afternoon. Um, I'm Carissa. I'm going to be guiding you guys to your class today, so level 1.5. Does anybody have any injuries or anything going on in your body I should know about before we start class? Everybody feel pretty good today? So where's the stuff? Okay. Do you have modifications? Do you need some as we go? Or? I just kind of do the forearm here. Oh, do you do the on your forearm? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So um, if you guys need to gear out, go ahead and gear out now. We're gonna start on two reds and a green for footwork. And then when you're ready, go ahead and lay down onto your back. And then once you're down on your back, you're just gonna shimmy your shoulders like one or two inches off the block so that you're not directly up against them. We're gonna place our heels on the foot bar. We're gonna go as wide as the bar. And then we're gonna externally rotate our hips, knees, ankles, toes towards the side walls. We want everything tracking in line with the hips. Arms down by your sides, just shrug their shoulders out of the ears, take a full breath in. And on the exhale, go ahead and press into your heels and extend that carriage all the way out. And on the inhale, bend your knees and resist the strings to come back in slowly. So let's take the heels as wide as that bar. And then you're gonna rotate outwards from the hips. There you go, beautiful. Hips, knees, ankles, toes, all track in that same line of energy. So we're exhaling out. We're inhaling in. We're gonna do eight more of these. So it's an active push out and an active pull back in. And you're resisting the springs in each direction. So we're never riding them. We're always working against those springs. So the focus here, we're trying to keep the belly pulled in, the pelvis nice and even and stable. And we're pushing and pulling from those inner thighs. We're also trying to sink that movement to the breath. So we're exhaling to press all the way out Inhaling that slow resistance back in, a little squeeze. Let's do two more, exhale out. Inhale and move forward, you guys. And then on the very last one, let's press out all the way. Come in halfway to the stopper this time, and let's come down one inch, back up an inch. So we're just doing a tiny pulse, a little micro movement halfway out. I want you to keep it really slow and controlled so there's not a bounce in the joint. We're just thinking about keeping that tension in those inner thighs. So we're gonna be here for eight, seven, six, nice job everybody, for five, four, three. Last two, beautiful work everyone, and press all the way out. And then bend your knees, come all the way back, so we're gonna change it that foot position. So I'm gonna have you guys go onto all 10 of your toes on the foot bar, and then I want you to squeeze legs, feet, everything side by side to touch. And then you're gonna lift your heels up like you're wearing a pair of stilettos. And then exhale to push it out, so you wanna pull back in. And then inhale and press back in. And then the challenge here, so we're gonna try to keep those heels lifted in each direction. I don't want the legs turning out, I want you to squeeze your legs together so instead of having two legs, you have one mermaid tail. Squeeze inner thighs, knees, the sides of the feet, the big toes, everything together to touch. Keep your heels lifted high, bend the knees and close the carriage. So we're not moving from the ankle joint. Instead, we're moving from the back of the legs. We're gonna be here for eight. Two reds and a green. Any injuries or anything like that? Last six, so squeeze those legs in and keep those heels lifted. For five, beautiful work you guys. All 10 toes, big toes as well as pinky toes, press into that foot bar. Last four. For three, relax those shoulders off those blocks, press those palms down. And then on the very last one, let's go ahead and press out all the way. Extend the carriage out and keep the legs long. And then let's press our heels down for a tendon stretch. And then we'll lift those heels back up. And let's just do that three more times. So we can exhale, drop those heels, find that nice deep tendon stretch. And then lift those heels. Two more, press it down, we'll lift it up. Got your last one, let's press it down. And then go ahead and lift it up. Keep those heels lifted, bend your knees, and let's go ahead and close the carriage. We've got one more foot position for footwork. We're gonna do prehensile or bird on a perch. So go onto the middle of your arch of your foot there. So right over the ball, but right above the heel. Let's go hip width, which is about six inches in between the two feet. So heels, knees, sit bones are all lined up. Point your toes over the bar like they're little hooks, and then press your heels under. So your feet are now gripping the bar to rest in agreement. And then push all the way out, keeping that same shape in your feet, and then bend the knees and pull back in. So toes wrap 
over the top of the bar, heels press under, so it's like you're making like a little C curve shape. So the idea here is like your feet are bird claws, and that foot bar is your perch, and you're keeping a nice grip in each direction. Let's a little bit closer if we can. Yep, that one as well. There you go. Toes, toes over, heels under. Nice grip. Try to stay in that parallel. So toes, knees, and hips all point up. Come down a little closer. There you go. Really wrap the arch of the foot into the bar. So the idea here is that we're thinking about both the inner and the outer arch. So with the big toe and the pinky toe side of your foot, really pressing into that bar. Let's be here for four. And for three. So an equal grip. Toes wrap over. For two. Nice work, everybody. And then very last one. Let's press all the way out. Go ahead and come halfway back in. And let's do those pulses again. In an inch, out an inch. Tiny and controlled range of motion. We're going to be here for eight. And for seven, six, five. Belly pulls in. Hips are level. Last three. Last two. And then let's go ahead and push up all the way. Bend the knees and come back in. Beautiful work, you guys. We're gonna move on to some bridging. So the first thing we need to do is make sure our headrest is all the way flat. There's that little wooden um, piece behind the headrest, just go ahead and flip it up and then make sure that headrest is all the way down. Shimmy those shoulders off those blocks. Again, you wanna maintain about two inches of space between the shoulders and the blocks. And let's put our heels on the foot bar. Heels, knees, sit bones in the same line energy, feet flexed. Arms push down, belly pulls in. We're gonna start with a neutral spine or a flat back bridge. Take a full breath. On the exhale, without moving that carriage, let's lift those hips straight up. Spine stays in one long, continuous line. Take a full, uh, breath in on the top. And on the exhale, hinge from your hips, drop your tailbone back to the mat without letting that carriage move. Beautiful, four more. Bring your heels on the hip width if you can. So extend that Pilates feet and knees and toes to the sky. Face your arm rotate, there you go. Inhale at the top, exhale. Press it down. Now squeeze those glutes. On the inhale, we pause. On the exhale, we move. So we find a little stillness at the top and the bottom. Beautiful work, you guys. Hips, knees, toes, they're all pointing up. Notice if your hips want to rotate. Let's go up one more time, and this time we're going to stay in that high bridge. Beautiful, you guys. Okay. Press those palms down. Pull the belly in. Fire up those glutes. Take your right leg and stretch it up to the ceiling. Keep that carriage still and keep your hips lifted and level. Notice if one of those hips wants to dip or twist. Lift them up, level them out, hold it here. You're holding the position, but you're not holding your breath. Keep that right leg long, point from your right toes. On the inhale, lower your right leg down. Straight right leg from the hip about halfway to the foot bar. On the exhale, flex the foot and lift it back to the ceiling. Do that four more times for me. Inhale, point lower. Exhale, flex left. Straight right leg, the leg is straight, it's just lowering and lifting from the hip. We inhale, point the toes, lower the leg, we exhale, flex the foot lift. We got one more, carriage stays perfectly still. Modifies the unit, you guys. Now hold it, right leg to the sky. Hips are even, carriage is still, belly's pulling in, you should feel some fire in those glutes. Bend that right knee, land that right heel, and then go ahead and lower that bridge. Take an inhale. We're gonna go right back up. So if you wanna windshield wiper those knees, go for it. Take a breath, take a stretch, whatever you need to do here. And then close that carriage. Heels, knees, sit bones in that same line of energy. Arms by your sides. Shoulders roll off those blocks. Pull the belly in. We're going up to that same bridge. Squeeze the glutes, lift the hips. Carriage stays perfectly still. Now, the left leg reaches to the sky. Point those toes, straighten that leg. Carriage is still, hips are level. Notice if one wants to drop or lift and lift them up, level them up, squeeze those glutes. On the inhale, straight left leg lowers down, point through the toes, lower about halfway. Again, we don't want those hips to come unlevel. And then flex the foot and lift back up. We have four more. Inhale, point to lower, exhale, flex to lift. Now modify as needed, you guys. If you need to soften at the knee, go ahead. The focus is keeping the pelvis stable and the carriage still. Maybe the movement isn't as big today, that's all right. Reach that left leg to the sky and let's hold. Take a breath, notice what happened to those hips. Now bend that left knee without moving the carriage of the hips, lower the heel, and then go ahead and hinge all the way back down. Nice job, you guys. 
Knees go right, knees go left, like when your in your car. Stretch and breathe. And then let's go onto the arches of our feet, hip width parallel, arms by your sides. Shimmy those shoulders off those blocks, pull your abs in. We're gonna move into an articulated bridge, so more of the Pilates style bridge. So articulation, we're gonna take a full breath, and on the exhale, I want you to kind of tuck your tail and curl your pelvis underneath you until your low back is flat on the mat. And then we're gonna continue that movement. You're gonna keep curling. Your pelvis will start to lift, your low back, the mid back. You're gonna lift all the way up to that high bridge, rolling each individual vertebra off the mat. You'll take an inhale at the top, and then on the exhale, super slow, you'll roll back down. So like your spine is a string of curls, you're gonna imprint each little curl back down onto the mat. Take a breath, and on that exhale, go ahead, curl that pelvis, roll each individual vertebra up just to the tips of the shoulder blades. Take an inhale at the top. And on the exhale, slowly, 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 like there's weights in your abdominals. Roll that spine back down. Knees, heels, and hips, they're all lined up in parallel. I mean, you're all pointing to the sky, so no turn out from those hips. Let's do a couple more. Belly pulls in. Don't do that low lunge, there you go. Exhale, curl, roll. Take your time. Use your breath. Inhale at the top, and then exhale to roll it back down. Beautiful, you guys. It's a nice spinal mobility exercise here, getting everything moving. Take a breath, take an inhale, roll it down. And last one, go ahead and roll that spine up to that high bridge, you guys, and this time we're staying there. While we're up here, take a little inventory of what's going on with your body. So the arches of your feet, are your feet rolling out, are they rolling in? So try to press equally from big toe or piggy toe sides so that you are nice and parallel with an equal grip. Knees point up, shoulders roll down, palms press into the mat beside you. All right, we're gonna take that right leg up one more time. Beautiful. This time, we're gonna do some bicycles with this right leg. Hips stay even, right leg straight and long with the toes pointed. We're gonna lower that leg about halfway down. Then we bend the knee as if we're gonna graze that foot bar with our right toes. And then we reach it right back to the sky. Four more. Slow and controlled. We're not going for um, quantity, we're going for quality, right? So we wanna keep that carriage so Keep those hips even. Make it smaller if that feels better in your body. Last one, take that right leg up, hold it. This time, bend your right knee, land the foot. We're not coming down from this bridge, we're staying up. If you need to come down, by all means, that's fine, but we're all gonna be right back up. Take an inhale. All right, there you go. Take that opposite leg to the sky, left legs turn. Hips are even, carriage is still, belly's in. Straight left leg, lower it halfway, bend the knee, graze that foot bar with those toes, reach it to the sky. Four more. Inhale, bend, extend on the exhale. Last three. Watch those hips, right? So no movement in the pelvis. Could be a small movement if we need. Beautiful work, everyone. Try to keep the gaze at the sky so that there's no tweaking in the neck, and then pause at the top, left leg to the sky, bend the knee, We'll land the foot of the arm on the bar, arch the foot of the bar, pull the belly in. Notice what happened that bridge. It should still be high. And then as you exhale, super, 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 super slowly, let's roll it back down. Bone by bone, piece by piece. Take a rest. Knees go right, knees go left. Nice job, you guys. So we're gonna transition to some hands in the straps. I'd like everyone to roll themselves up. You can come up through a roll up if that's in your practice. We are going to do either a green spring from a medium weight, or you can do a red and a blue spring, which is going to be a little heavier. So two springs heavier than one. If you have anything going on with your shoulders, I recommend just sticking with the one green for today. Otherwise, try one red and one blue. Once you make your spring weight selection, lay onto your back, reach behind you, and grab your short loops. Four fingers through, bump to the outside, run those loops across the lower portion of the heel of your hand. And then reach those arms straight up, and then roll those shoulders up, back, and down so they're not in contact with the blocks and they're out of those ears. 
Twist, elbows and shoulders are stacked, belly pulls in, arms stay still, fingertips to the ceiling, and then float those legs to tabletop as you're ready. Knees over the hips, shins parallel to the floor. Take a full breath in, and on that exhale, let's press those straight arms all the way down. Inhale, float them up and resist the springs. Exhale, press them down. If you can keep the fingertips long and the palms open, great. If it feels better in your wrist to make a fist, that's fine too. We're gonna add a little more challenge. So as you are ready, if it feels okay in your neck and low back today, when the arms come down, hollow out your abdominals and lift that head, neck, and shoulders up. You're not lifting from your neck, you're lifting from your core. On the inhale, arms up, head down. Now, your legs are staying perfectly still. They're not moving with you. Knees are over the hips, shins are parallel to the floor, and that belly pulls in and up. Exhale, arms down, curl up if that feels available. Inhale, arms down, arms up, head down. Beautiful. Relax those shoulders. Check in with that lower back. Is your low back neutral? Is it in an imprint? Wherever, wherever it is, does it feel comfortable and safe for what you're doing? Let's do two more. On this very last one, let's come on up and everyone, let's hold it. Arms down, chest is lifted. You're gazing at your knees. We're gonna move into the flies and hunch. You guys pump those arms. This pump comes from the shoulders. The arms stay perfectly straight. Your fingertips are reaching at that foot bar. Palms face towards the floor. In for five through the nose. Out for five through the mouth is the classic way we teach this exercise. If that breath pattern just doesn't resonate with you, in for a long breath through the nose, out for a long exhale through the mouth. Keep pumping, keep breathing. Keep going, nice job. If you need to rest the head, rest the head. Just keep pumping the arms. If it gets in your neck, you're still getting core to rest that head, you guys. So just keep pumping those arms, belly in. Your legs are doing a lot of work, right? Lifting your legs does a lot of work for your abs. So you're, you're working no matter what. Let's do two more sides. Arms up, head down. Go ahead and put those feet on the foot bar and rest. Nice job, everybody. All right, so we're going to move into some tricep presses next. Let's take those arms all the way down by your sides. Let's go ahead and press them right down, thumbs to your hips. And then float those legs back up to tabletop, knees over the hips, shins parallel to the floor. Keep those wrists long, your fingertips are reaching away from you. And then we're going to keep the elbows glued to our side body, but we're going to bend the elbows so that our fingertips reach the ceiling. So we made like a little right angle shape with our arms. Exhale, press those arms down. Inhale, bend at the elbow. Exhale, go ahead and press them down. Inhale, we bend at the elbow. Exhale, press it down. Inhale, bend at the elbow. Let's add a chest lift, you guys. When you're ready, exhale. Press those arms, curl the head, neck, and shoulders up. Inhale, elbows bend and head can rest. Now, if you're feeling good in your neck today and you feel like you wanna keep that chest lifted the whole time, that's okay too. Make sure you're lifting from here and not from here. Bend those elbows and extend. So we're gonna actually turn this exercise into something called coordination. So I'm gonna have you guys keep going, but we're gonna add the legs next. Of course, modify for your body. If it doesn't feel appropriate, please leave it out. Exhale, arms down, chest up, straighten those legs over the foot bar, squeeze them together, point those toes. Inhale, bend the knees, bend the elbows, press the head. Exhale, curl it up, you got it. Inhale, bend the knees, bend the elbows, rest the head. Modify if you need, maybe one leg at a time today. Maybe we leave the legs out. Maybe we leave the chest lift out. Please work with your own body today, right? So whatever feels good. The point is Pilates. Let's do two more. And then the next one we're all gonna hold. So wherever that looks like, whatever that looks like for you, press your arms down, lift your chest, extend those legs and hold. Maybe the knees are bent, maybe the head is down. Whatever you need to do, just hold. Carriage is gonna stay perfectly still. Take your legs as wide as the reformer frame. The carriage doesn't move. Squeeze them back together, the carriage doesn't move. Take them apart, the carriage doesn't move. Squeeze them back together, the carriage doesn't move. Imagine you're pressing into TheraBands. We're here for four, three, two, one. 
three, belly pulls in, two, and one. Bend those knees and go ahead and rest. Nice job, you guys. All right, we're gonna do one more set of exercises from here. So take those arms straight up to the ceiling for me one more time. Again, shrug, shrug those shoulders off the blocks, pull your shoulder blades down to your back pockets. This time, straight arms to the sky and straight legs to the sky. Now, if anyone prefers to soften the knees here for low back issues, that's fine too. Squeeze your legs together and point those toes. Now, we're only gonna move the arms and the chest one time and then they're gonna hold that position. So take an inhale. As you exhale, arms go down, chest lifts up, and then you hold. The carriage is gonna stay still. Your arms are by your sides. You're looking at your knees. You can open that chest lift if you need. Hold it. Here she's still. Arms down. That's it. Nobody else is moving, right? Perfect. Now the legs are going to do the work. Inhale, lower halfway. Both straight legs. Exhale, lift them back up. You've got this, you guys. Squeeze them together. Point those toes. Now, what are we looking for? Keep going. Lower left. Modify. Bend the knees. One leg at a time. We're not using momentum and we're not swinging. That low back is perfectly still. That belly pulls in. One more. You've got this. Come back and rest. Nice job, everybody. All right. Go ahead and hang up those long loops on your little peg behind your shoulder block. Give yourself a hug, knees into your chest, and just rock out that little back. Maybe some sacrum circles, whatever you're gonna do here. And then let's roll to our left side and come up to a seat. Okay. So we're gonna do some planking next. I'm gonna say let's all switch to one red spring. We are gonna do some forearm planks on the box. I'm gonna have everyone put their short box on up against their shoulder box. One red spring is all we need for everyone. Short box up against the shoulder box. And then we're gonna kneel down facing the short box. And we're gonna put our forearms on that short box. So your elbows go underneath your shoulders. The only part of your body touching the box is your forearms. Now your toes are gonna uh, tuck under right here on this like gray textured sandpaper, and then the belly pulls in. We're gonna work this in stages. We're gonna progress it. So feel free to stay in any level of the progression that feels best for your body. First things first, carriage still, belly in. Toes tucked under, forearms pressed down. Without moving the carriage, take a full breath in. On the exhale, I want you to lift those knees four inches off the mat, and hold for eight, seven, no movement, just hold, six, belly pulls in, this is core, five, you got this, you guys, four, crown of the head to the mirror, chin off the chest, last three, two, so good, you guys, and one, lower those knees, take a rest. That was progression one. If you want to stay there for today, next few uh, progressions IQ, just stay there, just keep lifting the knees. Next piece, we're gonna press up to that plank. So let's take an inhale. On the exhale, pull the abs in, lift the knees up, and then go ahead and extend the carriage out. Shoulders stay over your elbows, chin is off the chest, the crown of your head is reaching out at the mirror. So the spine is beautifully long from the crown of the head to the tailbone. No movement, just breathe. Pull the belly in and up. There you go. We're going to be here for eight. You got this, you guys. Seven, six, five, four. So good. Last three, two. Nice work. Bend those knees and close that carriage. Go ahead and sit back towards that arm stretch. You can reach over the box like an extended child's pose. Take a couple deep breaths. We've got two more exercises we're going to do. The next one is called a jackrabbit. So what a jackrabbit is, we're gonna lift those knees, we're gonna send it to plank, we're gonna keep the knees hovering, but then we're gonna close the carriage back. So we're kinda gonna go from the knee hover to the plank, the knee hover to the plank. We're gonna do that about 10 times. Set yourself up, same starting position, belly pulls in, lift those knees, go ahead and send that carriage out. Exhale out, inhale, bend the knees to a hover, close that carriage. Your hips actually stay at that same height. There you go, back stays perfectly straight. Chin off the chest, everybody. Crown of the head reaches at that beautiful mirror in front of you. Beautiful. Slow it down, use that breath, and remember those hips stay even with the shoulders, so there's no hip pipe. Last three. Beautiful. Two. 
and wind. Bring it back in, drop the knees. Nice work. Okay, last one. So I call this the twisted jackrabbit. So we're gonna work a little bit to the obliques. I want you to squeeze your legs together, right? So we're thinking more like that mermaid tail rather than two legs. Tuck those toes under and then find that same starting position for arms on the box. We're gonna push out to a plank. This time when we inhale and close the carriage, we're still gonna lift the knees to a hover, but we're gonna twist the knees to the left. Then we'll press out to the plank and we'll straighten back out. And then we'll go back, close the carriage, twist the knees to the right. You can look towards the knees. So it can be a little bit about um, head movement if that feels good in your body. Hips are gonna stay level to the shoulders. When you're ready, take an inhale, set it up, exhale out to that plank, inhale, find that twist. You got it, squeeze those legs together. Slow and controlled, so it shouldn't feel like a bounce. Shade off the chest, neck is long, you got it. For four, and for three, Shoulders stay over those elbows for two. Nice work, everybody. And for one, press it out, lower those knees, and rest. We're done with that plank series. Nice work, everybody. All right, so we're gonna move on to pulling straps. So we're gonna change that box to a long box, please. I would like everyone to take their foot bar down to no bar, so you can just take those two plastic clips, pull them in, lower that bar all the way so that it's resting on the wooden frame. We're gonna stay in the one red spring unless anybody has anything going on with their shoulders. If you prefer to be lighter, you can switch to a blue. And then let's get on that box. So it's a long box up against the box. Make sure it's nice and even. We're gonna get on our belly facing the back of our corner, facing our mirror and our numbers at our station. All right, everybody. So I want you guys to shimmy forward a little bit. And then um, you want to have your shoulders over the shoulder blocks and then your fifth rib or bra line the last thing to touch the edge of the box. You're all the way flat on that box. Now check in with your legs. Point your toes and reach them away from the crown of your head. Reach them all the way towards the center walkway of the room. Lift them up and press your pelvis down. Now grab onto the hardware that attaches your ropes to your loops. Pull right above it. Take your loops off to the sides of the frame and straighten out your arms. We're going to progress this exercise as well. So we're going to start just with the arms and the spine in a neutral. Make sure your legs stay active, protect your low back, and on that inhale, pull those abs in. Pull those straight arms all the way back to the legs. On the exhale, straight arms reach down. Knuckles straight to the floor. So keep your arms straight. Get you a little wider. Inhale, press them back. Squeeze those shoulder blades. You got it. Exhale, lower. We're not adding the chest lift yet. You might be slightly lifted. Make sure you're pressing your pubic bone into the box to protect your low back. This movement is coming from those shoulders. Check back in with those legs, you guys. One more. Inhale back. Exhale, reach it forward. Nice work. All right. Now we're going to add the upper back extension if it feels available to you. On the inhale, when those arms sweep back, I want you to pull those abs in. I want you to lift that heart up. Shoulders roll out of the ears. The neck stays beautifully long, and you gaze at yourself in the mirror. Maybe give yourself a little smile, and then exhale. Reach those arms down. You got it, you guys. Inhale, reach it back. So good. Try to avoid any um, upper cervical, like too much upper cervical extension, so you're not looking up at the sky. It's really the movement is coming from the space between your shoulder blades. You're lifting up. It's actually upper thoracic extension, so it's mid back. Let's do two more. Checking with those legs. They should be perfectly still, extending across the room. Toes pointed, heels on my other sit bones. And last one. Beautiful work, you guys. One more progression. So this one's called airplane. We're going to draw a little circle. I'm going to have you guys stay in upper back extension for this, unless that doesn't feel available, then you're welcome to just maintain a neutral. But the choreography for this, we're going to take those arms back, just like we have been, but then instead of just going straight forward, we're going to go out to the side a little bit and then back down. So it's like we're drawing a little circles to the side. You can coordinate the, up, the upper back extension so when the arms go back, you can lift. When the arms go out and down, you can lower if that feels good. I'm open to modifications. We're in on your reach back. We're actually going to open, reach forward, and lower. Legs stay extended. Beautiful. Big circles. 
Open that shoulder joint. Nice shot there, buddy. Last few here. Try to be really delicate when that carriage closes. Lots of control. Beautiful. Last one. Okie dokie. Go ahead, bring it in. Hang up your long legs on the thighs. Bend your knees for me, you guys, and just let your feet go side to side. Give yourself a little low back, a little hip stretch. And then we're going to gracefully step off the box. Let's go with both feet. Step to your um, right side, so your station side. And then just face your box from the side, put your hands on the box, and do a little flat back hinge. So just a little counter pose to all that upper back extension. We're going to do a little bit of upper body. So I'm going to have you guys take that box and put it back where it came from for me. And then we're going to stay in the red spring. And we're going to take a seat on the reformer. You can sit cross-legged. This is a 1.5, so if you want to kneel, you can kneel, but we're going to be facing the foot bar. So if you're going to kneel, you're going to tuck your toes under, put your feet up against the shoulder blocks. You're going to sit on your heels, reach behind you, grab your long loops. And if you want to just sit in a cross leg, then just go ahead and sit with those ankles crossed. And then reach for those long loops. And then if you want to come up to the high knee, once your hands are in the loops, you come up and reach your arms forward. We're going to start with hugs. Shoulders down, we're still in that red spring. So reach back, grab those long loops. Yeah, so sit back for me first. Bring the arms forward a second, a little bit, and then come up. There you go. Belly in. So shoulders over hips over knees. If you're in that high knee, it's a little balance, right? Arms go wide, shoulders are soft. Take an inhale, and on the exhale, you're gonna hug that giant beach ball in front of your chest. Keep your gaze forward, your chin is lifted off the chest. Inhale, open from the shoulders. It's not the widest opening. You should still be able to see your fingertips in your peripheral view. So we're not letting the arms reach back here. Kind of stopping when the fingertips are directly in front of the shoulders. Inhale, open from the shoulder, keep the elbow soft. Exhale, close, fingertips connect. Hug a tree or hug a ball. Chin is up, belly is in. This is balance work, you guys, right? So you're feeling that core a little bit here too. Reach those arms a little longer for me. Yep, and then pull in from that shoulder. Beautiful, you should feel a little chest, a little shoulder. Last two, and last one. All right, you guys. So let's bring those elbows down directly under our shoulders with our palms up, we're gonna do a little serving. Since we all chose to go in the kneel, I think we're going to have to do, we're going to add a little core element to this. So everyone just kind of sit back on your heels for me right now, bending your elbows under your shoulders, your palms are up, your fingertips are reaching out. We're going to do two things at the same time. So again, it's a little coordination of balance, it's also a little, going to be a little extra core. When you exhale, you're going to extend your arms and you're going to lift your hips up off those heels. When you inhale, you're going to bend the elbows and sit back down, maybe just to a hover over the heels. Exhale, arms reach. Shoulder height, extend, reach forward, inhale, bend those elbows and sit down. Hug your elbows in close to your ribs, pull your shoulders down out of the ears. Remember that focus will help with that balance. Inhale and exhale. Everybody feeling a little connection to that core on that lift? We're gonna be here for four, so good you guys. And for three, Last two, and last one. Go ahead and take yourself a little seat. We've got one more we're gonna do. So you are welcome to either sit in that low kneel or come back up to the high kneel, but we've got salutes. This is our last one. So salutes, you're gonna make a triangle with your thumbs and four fingers. So if you're gonna come up to that high kneel, I would come up to that first and then make that triangle second. And then you're gonna reach the triangle out, kind of so you're reaching your fingertips towards that little um, neon blue light. You wanna to try to keep a connection between thumbs and forefingers. You're reaching the arms up so that those ropes aren't touching your shoulders. And then you inhale, bend your elbows and bring your thumbs to your forehead. Exhale, squeeze those triceps, press it out. Keep your gaze forward at that same almost like a drishni point across the room, so a non-moving point where you can focus that energy and attention. Belly pulls in, nice. Straps should not be hitting those shoulders. If they are, reach up a little higher. Okay, so those triceps yet, triceps yet. We're gonna be here for four. 
And for three. Last two. And last one. Bend those elbows and then go ahead and sit back. And then you can um, let go of the loops. I'm just gonna turn around. I'm gonna do some rolling back exercises now. So a little bit more core work. Everyone, please turn around and face the back of your corner. You're going to extend your legs through the two shoulder blocks. So straighten those legs directly between the blocks. Now your knees are your guide. So you might have to cross one knee over the other, that's okay. But your knees should be directly between the blocks. That means that you should have exactly a palm's length um, of distance behind you. So scooch a little bit. Yeah, perfect. And then go ahead and grab, let's grab the short loops today. Straighten those legs all the way up. Scooch a little more towards your knees are gonna be directly between those. Oh, yeah, there you go, perfect. Take your arms, you're holding the short loops, reach your arms out, shoulder height. Make little fists around the loops, straighten your arms. So we're gonna do some rolling. When we roll, we wanna use our core. So I want you guys to try to avoid bending your elbows for the first few, okay? Straighten your arms all the way out. Relax your shoulders down. Take an inhale. On the exhale, keep your arms shoulder height. Curl the pelvis. Squeeze the glutes and roll back. There's not a lot of mat there. You're gonna imprint your sacrum, you're gonna imprint a little of your low back, and then that's it. Go back as far as you can, as far as you feel comfortable. Take an inhale at the bottom. Keep your arms straight. Shin points up first, and then your gaze lifts you all the way to the top. Straight arms if you can. Is everybody feeling that connection to core here? In Pilates, the slower you move, the harder you have to work. So if you're not feeling it, my advice is slow it down, pull in a little deeper, and see if you can find that connection. Now, I want your legs to be your roots, so make sure you're really pressing them down, squeeze those glutes, so it shouldn't feel like you're about to fly back up. All right, we're gonna make it a little more challenging. So, I'm gonna have you guys Making fists on your short lips, but bring your knuckles together at your heart. And then bring your elbows really wide. Again, relax those shoulders so they're starting to creep up into the ears. We're going to keep our arms in this position. You're going to keep the same amount of space between your hands and your chest. Let's say that's like six inches, so you're going to keep that same amount the whole exercise. Take an inhale. On the exhale, let's curl, and let's go back. As far as feels comfortable, if you have hair, make sure that um, with those springs doesn't get caught. I've learned firsthand that that can be kind of not very fun. And then keep your hands close, pull your belly in, and roll yourself back up. Inhale where you are. Exhale, curl yourself up. You guys got this. This looks great. Is everybody feeling their abs? Beautiful. Let's do two more here. We're going to add some obliques. So good. Glutes are on. Elbows are wide. Chin points up, but again, it doesn't touch that chest. We keep that neck nice and long and extended. All right, so now we're gonna add obliques. If your legs are crossed, just for sake of evenness, let's go ahead and switch the cross of the legs. So if your legs were crossed, just switch them to the other one down top. And then we're gonna go halfway back, and we're gonna do an exercise I call row boat. So keep that same position, knuckles together, elbows wide, pull your abs in, and go halfway back. Just halfway. Halfway means your like, sacrum is imprinted, maybe a tie to your low back, but your ribs are still up. You should still be able to see yourself in the mirror. Now, we're gonna draw figure eights with our elbows. You're gonna draw a circle going left to right with that left elbow, you're gonna look over that elbow, so draw that circle, and then draw that circle with that right elbow, right to left. So it's like you're kinda, your arms are oars, and your body's a boat, and you are kinda kayaking here. Yeah, look over those. Elbows, draw those circles. Perhaps you go a little bit bigger with the elbow, go wide with the elbows, up, and then tiny little circles side to side. So a little bit coming right there and drop them in. And then tiny little units. Everybody feel okay about these? You feel your obliques? A little bit? Sorry. <laughs> All right, and then come back to center and go ahead and roll yourself up. Nice work, you guys. Let's hang those loops up, the long loops, please. I'm gonna have you guys put your foot bars back up to the middle, and we're gonna do uh, some feet and shots. So let's go ahead and pull out our foot bars back to the middle, lock them back on those plastic clips. Let's do two red springs, unless you have a better spring weight that you like to work.
working for weakness straps. So if you have any low back or hip issues, you can always do a red and blue. If you want an even stronger weight, you could do a red and a green. Two reds, kind of the baseline. And then once you've made that selection, go ahead and lay on your back. And I'm going to suggest the long loops, but if you prefer short on your feet, you're welcome to do that too. So place those loops across the lower arches of those feet. If you want your headrest up, you're welcome to have it. And then just shimmy those shoulders off those blocks, press those palms down, pull those abs in. So we are going to try to keep our pelvis nice and neutral for this one. If you need to imprint that lower back, go for it. We're going to work in Pilates V. So bring your heels together, your toes apart. This external rotation comes from your hips. There's about six inches of space between your big toes. Now I'd like for you guys to all lower your legs about halfway towards the foot bar and hold it here. The carriage is going to stay still for a moment. Super glue those heels. They're not going to come apart. Bend your knees. We're going right to those froggies. On that exhale, squeeze those heels together and shoot those heels right over that foot bar at that imaginary bullseye. Inhale, we bend. Exhale, we extend. Zip those inner thighs. So Pilates V, we're going to keep six inches of space between those big toes. It's like there's a bullseye over that foot bar that we're just going to aim at over and over. Zip those inner thighs. Everybody feeling okay about this one? So far, so good. Your knees go wider than your hips, but they stay in the same line as your hips, so they don't come towards those shoulders. Inhale, bend to exhale, extend, let's reach those heels right above the bar. Keep the knees above, and that that same spot over and over, so bend from here, and then press it out. Beautiful. All right, you guys, we're gonna move into something called the frog circle. So there's a little bit of choreography to this. If it gets too confusing, and you just wanna go back to the frogs, that's fine too. So we're gonna start, heels together, toes apart, bend your knees, hold, without moving the carriage. Reach your legs out towards the sides of the room, straight legs, hold, your legs are straight. Exhale, pull your straight legs together, connecting your heels right at that imaginary bullseye. Inhale, bend the knees, reach the straight legs out to the sides of the room. Exhale, pull the legs closed. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, reach it up, and pull them closed. Keep going like that. The carriage does move. Bend the knees, reach them straight out. Now sweep them down towards the body. There you go. Press your heels when they come to connect. Straight legs go over the bar. So go bend. Reach your heels that direction always. So go, yeah. Now bend in. Keep that velocity. Now straight legs out. And then pull them to the bar. Everybody feel those inner thighs? All right, let's do one more and then we'll reverse. Straight legs, sweep them to the foot bar. All right, now let's reverse. You're in bent knee frogs. Heels together, toes apart, externally rotated hips. Straighten the legs out. Take the legs out as wide as the reformer. Bend the knees and bring the heels back together to touch. Exhale out, inhale open, bend, close. Beautiful. We're not going into soles of the feet together. That Pilates V has that six inches of space between the big toes. So heels together when you bend. Yep, come in, heels together, toes apart. And then go straight up, straight up. Reach straight as a get down, go wide, then bend your knees, and then bring your heels back. There you go. Keep reaching those heels over that foot bar. Belly pulls in and a beautiful neutral spine and pelvis here. All right, we got one more to go. We're gonna do some Peter Pans or some single leg frogs or some stags, whatever you wanna call them, but we're gonna go heels together, toes apart, reach the legs over the bar. Bend the left knee only and take a straight right leg out to the right side. Now, Press the heels, two straight legs meet over the foot bar. Bend the right knee only, take the left leg out. Keep going like that. Heels, heels meet, and then bend into this knee. And then push it, heels meet. There you go. Heels meet. Remember that bullseye we set ourselves up with at the beginning of class? We're always aiming at the bullseye. It's like a 45 degree angle from our hips. We're pushing, connect them. There you go, now bend this knee. And then send that heel towards me, straighten that leg. There you go, connect them. That's it, yeah, connect them. The goal of this exercise, you guys, is this requires a lot of pelvic stability. 
We don't want to be shifting our hips side to side. We want to keep equal spaces between our ribs and our hips. So see long through the side body. Pull your abs in. Keep that pelvis from wiggling around. Sometimes it's helpful to put your hands on your bony hip points. Gives you a little stability, gives you a little tactile cue. Beautiful. Is everybody feeling those inner thighs yet? Almost ready for our stretch? Or we'll do four more. Exhale, extend those legs. Inhale. Got it. Beautiful work, everyone. Let's do one more. Even yourselves out. All right. And then go ahead and take those legs straight up to the ceiling. You can hold on to the D-rings. The D-ring is that little metal ring that attaches the hardware to your loops. Keep your legs straight. Flex those feet. Open up the back of the calves and bring those legs in a little closer to your body. Take a couple deep breaths. We're just opening for a hamstring stretch. If it feels okay for a moment, you may float the hips up, but only for a breath or two and then try to anchor them back down. We want to be really nice to our low back and although it does feel like a nice stretch sometimes, we're going to try to keep that stretch in the hamstrings today by just anchoring those sit bones and that tailbone. And then let's go ahead and take it into a wide straddle stretch. Reach those legs wide. You can point and flex your feet if you want a little Achilles stretch or calf opener. Pull those ropes down and in, point and flex, resisting the traction of those straps. Beautiful work, everybody. And then as you're ready, go ahead and bend the knees. Let's place the, full, the soles of our feet together, the knees wide, so it's like a butterfly. And then you can let those pinky toe edges of your feet fall towards the springs. And we're just opening up those hips in a nice little, nice supta baddha konasana stretch here. Just breathe, shoulders relax. Take another moment or two here in this stretch. And then when you're ready, you can bring the knees back to the ceiling and slowly, slowly take those feet out of those loops. Let's place your feet back on the foot bar. We're gonna do a couple of roll ups to finish class. So we're gonna work on a little more core to kind of seal the deal here. Stretch your legs out over the foot bar and rest them down. So straight legs, it's like your calves are resting on the foot bar. You can squeeze them together and point your toes. You can also bend your knees here if you need a little assistance once you get to those roll ups. Reach your arms to the ceiling, pull your shoulders off those blocks, pull your abs in. Your gaze is gonna fall on your fingertips. Take a breath and on that exhale, Curl, head, neck, shoulders, upper back, mid back, all the way up to a seat. Take it in on your highest point and then exhale, come back down, bone by bone. Now, if that was a challenge, scoot in a little closer and bend your knees. Your knees can hook over the foot bar and then that can give you a little bit of assistance to come up the next time. Squeeze your glutes, gaze balls with fingertips, come on up. Inhale, exhale, slowly come down. Let's do two more. Again, we're all working in a range of motion. That feels good for us. Point to your abs, not your back. Use that breath. You got this, you guys. On the very last one, go ahead and come up to your highest level, whatever that looks like for you in this moment. And if we're up into that full lift, maybe we can get those legs to hover an inch off that bar and hold. Belly pulls in. Beautiful, and then we're gonna just swing those legs to our station side of the reformer, your left side, and come up to standing. We're all gonna finish with the roll down, guys, so just go ahead and stand. We'll all face the center walkway of the room. So feet are hip width distance apart, parallel, soft, gentle bend to those knees. We'll inhale and sweep those arms to the sky. You can look up, and on the exhale, keep those knees soft, pull those abs in. Round yourself over that giant beach ball in front of you. And then just let everything hang heavy like weight. Please bend your knees once your head goes past your hips, right? So we want to protect that lower back. Shake out the arms. If you want to do some dead arm circles, shake your head out yes or no. Release any tension or stress from the head and neck. Take a full breath in. And on that exhale, go ahead, squeeze the glutes, press through those heels, and begin to stack your spine one vertebra over the last. We're gonna take three shoulder rolls together at the top. So inhaling, shoulders up, back, down. Just getting those shoulders relaxed for the rest of our evening. 
Thank you guys so much. Again, my name is Carissa. I'm going to be here for the next uh, six weeks on this Monday evening, teaching the 5.30, And I'm also doing that to, uh, the teacher training in Cupertino. So any of you guys are interested in becoming Pilates instructors, let us know. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.